Hi, Supertruce here, back on our Instagram Adventures New Game Plus 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 video, episode 195, and you may notice something different immediately, and this is the new update has dropped. After over nine months of waiting, New Game Plus 3.1 is finally out. New Game Plus 3.1, if you don't know, is the balancing update of New Game Plus Plus Plus. So let's see what is going to be different, because I... It rebalances a lot of things so like you can already notice that some of these things here are gone probably to save CPU cycles and all that same with these and then um, you can see <laughs> for whatever reason the donate link says urgent even though if you click on the donate link you can't actually donate so yeah that's that's not very well designed. I even posted it on Reddit. So, yeah. Looking at the other tabs, let's see what's different. So, this looks... I don't see anything different here. Um, this is a little different. It says you would start at 1.83 giga years. Okay. That's how they, that's how they say it. Um, these look the same. Um, this... The ranking now's, now goes up to 200. So... Uh, yeah, that's gonna be, that's interesting. I'm, I'm, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get 200 ranking, but apparently I'm supposed to get there. And then these look the same options. There's a couple things, or there's actually a lot of things that have changed. Let's see. I'm actually not sure everything has changed, but there's, looks like performance ticks. There's low, medium, high, off. I'm just gonna keep it on low and yeah, I'll, I'll do that. And then. I really have no idea. I, I know this has to do with like CPU and like how much, how sort of many CPU cycles it's gonna take. I'm really not sure what it does. There's this logarithm rate thing which affects, you know, this, like the percentages here, but that doesn't exist anymore, so that option is useless. And then I have no idea what some of these options are. Let's see if there's any new notations. I don't see anything new yet. Uh, I don't see any new notations. And themes looks looks about the same. Animations, yeah, all the same. And then probably if we go to saves, yeah, this is where things change. So if you notice here, um, the mods, like how to actually get a new mod is to go here and yeah, there's a new there's a bunch of new mods here, including like new game plus 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 expert mode, which I think is equivalent of like the legacy version or something like that. It's just, yeah, harder version. Harder version just means more time walls. So, yeah, and then I'm guessing this is just the same. Yeah, the new update also um, has brought a new row of achievements in. So I was five achievements out. Actually, no, yeah, five achievements out from the end. Now I'm 13. And it looks like, yeah, they're all... Let's see if any of these have rewards. This, this one has rewards. This one has a reward. Do all of them have rewards? That, that that's pretty insane. All of them have rewards. There's also a few new images, but it's not that many. I only see um, these three, and I don't think yeah, none of these seem to have any rewards, unfortunately. But at least the row twenty three ones have rewards. I, I guess I can look at what some of these actually are. Like this is get a Higgs boson. This is the next mechanic that has been released. And the reward is that Bosonic upgrades and enchants are two times cheaper. Achievement power boosts Bosonic antimatter production at a reduced rate. And light empowerments no longer reset photons era resources. That's overpowered. The, the last part, like the first couple parts were like pretty good, but then the last part is just OP. And yeah, this is twenty. I'm just gonna look at the requirements for these. Reach 25 light empowerments. How is that possible? Reach E66666 quarks. And actually, this reward is sort of weak, but it's a reward anyway. And yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take everything I can. Um, and this is get at least two radioactive, radioactive decays of every color with at most 10 gains of unstable quarks. So interesting. So it's like I can't get as many tree upgrades or no branch upgrades. This is um, if this this is after getting Higgs boson. So I have no idea what that actually does. This is 190 pair challenges ranking. So it's just like this, except it's even more difficult. This is get E77 Ghostified stat. And then get 
E1 Quintillion Antimatter. So I'm not very close to there yet, but I will eventually reach there, hopefully in the next update. Or not in the next update, what am I saying? This update. It's, there are the updates here now. Anyway, if we go to Bosonic Lab, you can see to unlock the next particle, I not only need the 100 quintillion bosonic antimatter, which I'm extremely close to. I'm only about 333 quadrillion bosonic antimatter away from that. But I also need to get E200 quadrillion regular antimatter. So, yeah, I, I'm probably going to start... Oh, this is a surprisingly fast. This must be a balancing change. Let's see if there's anything... I feel like there's been some sort of balancing changes to at least some of these upgrades. Like, maybe if I quantum... I'll get more antimatter, so I'm, I'm definitely going to try that. Because all of a sudden, it's now super fast to get um, the W plus and W minus bosons. Or maybe I had more before. I don't, I don't know. I, I have less antimatter than before, and I have no idea why. Maybe I need to Eternity or something. But even that isn't working. I feel like there's a bug, because I don't know why I... It's just like the antimatter goes up and then it just it goes down and I can't get any more antimatter. I'm I'm going to say that's that's a bug because I I'm not sure why this would be happening. So and yeah, unfortunately the antimatter is going to be the thing that's sort of limiting me. Maybe if I go into photons, maybe I can get some more stuff. Oh, it looks like this has changed. Oh yeah, the a lot of the quantum stuff has changed in New Game Plus 3.1. So like, you can like assort percentages, and I don't think this is really useful now, but it'll be very useful. It would be very useful like earlier on. Also, it looks like I can I can upgrade these boosts above, and if I just max this, um, it's twenty five thousand levels, which I feel like is really good. It's oh yeah, it's also I forgot. It's all, the each of the color powers also boost um, the normal dimensions infinity dimensions and time dimensions so it it just helps speed up second quantum seeing if there's anything different here um i also have quark energy which allows me to generate up to this many gluons so it seems like it's obsolete now but if i go back to like quantum it will not be obsolete it'll be actually really useful i'm guessing these speedrun milestones are mostly the same um i can get another um, electron upgrade, and it looks like the UI has slightly changed, so now it's increased multiplier by 0 0.75 times. Also, I feel like I didn't have 45 electrons per Sacrifice Galaxy at this point, so oh yeah, it looks like the meta dimensions are, have been buffed. Um, I have E87,000 antimatter, so that allows me to get three of the electron upgrades. So, yeah, that's actually pretty, not OP, but it's pretty good. Replicants, I think, is the same. Um, Emperor Dimensions, maybe you have slightly more, like, Emperor Dimensions and, and Replicants, but it's not that big of a change. Um, the UI for this Nano Field tab has definitely changed. It's still 107 rewards, but you can see how many tiers I have and how much I think each of the rewards are actually affecting everything. So it's like, I have 14 tiers, but only 13, but it's like only acts as if it's like 13.2 tiers. And then Tree of Decay... This looks about the same. So, yeah, I'm I'm not sure why I can't get that much antimatter. I'm I'm definitely gonna try like quantuming, but quantuming doesn't really seem to do much. I feel like I should just big crunch, and that helps a little bit. And it's uh, it feels like I just have to keep big crunching because this is actually allowing me to get a lot of antimatter that way. I have no idea what's causing this. I have no idea if it's a bug or not, but. This, this may be what I need to do soon. So, yeah, maybe I should just focus on this because this will probably allow me to get just a lot more of the W plus and W minus bosons, which will definitely allow me to get a lot more Z bosons and just everything. So I'm going to try that. Let's see Ghostly Photons. Oh, yeah, um, there's a new UI here. So... It just looks a little nicer, and it's a little more organized. I don't think there's many... There may be some subtle balancing changes here. I do not detect. But, yeah, and Neutrino tab is about the same. There's no more Neutrino boosts. Uh, Automator Ghosts looks about the same. 
Brave Milestones is probably the same. And yeah, that's what well, that not everything in the new update because I gotta try Big Ripping first. So let's see what Big Ripping does. I can get E two hundred billion antimatter in Big Rip. So yeah, there must have been a lot of balancing changes, probably because of the photons. Well, I have E four hundred quark spin and thirteen radioactive decays in each branch. That's that's insane. I I did not know I was gonna get that much. And Nanofield, I can probably get 38 rewards. That's it? How can I only get 38 rewards? It's, that must be a bug. Because I have no idea why. It, the Antiprion Ghosts, or Antiprion Tiss, yes, that's been named now. Yes, uh, it still, I think it still happens at 104 rewards. I'm really not sure, but I have no idea why. I, it's probably prion anti energy actually. I'm or maybe it's not because I don't remember having this much prion energy, and yet I only have 38 rewards instead of like 100 something rewards. So yeah, maybe I should just. I feel like I should just go here, go out of big rip, and then just big crunch to try to maximize antimatter, and then try to unlock Higgs bosons, and actually I can get really close. I'm up to, actually, I'm going to make it E200 quadrillion antimatter, and there it is, Higgs bosons, and this, this is going to be next episode, it's going to be a live stream, hope you enjoyed, peace out. Okay, P.S., I missed some stuff in the Automator Ghost, I noticed that there is a new ghost here, Auto Neutrino Multiplier Ghost, so... Yeah, I can now do that, and I think it's the only Automator Ghost. I don't know why there's no Automator Ghost for uh, this upgrade, but whatever. Or the Electron upgrades. Why are there no Automator Ghosts for, for those? But anyway, for real, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.